Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we are doing a massive beer. This is from Avery Brewing. This is the second beer in their annual barrel series. This is the Uncle Jacob Stout coming in at 17.45%. Aged, it's an imperial stout, obviously, aged in bourbon barrels. And this is dedicated to Jacob Spears, who is actually the first distiller, I guess, um, to ever distill a, quote, Kentucky bourbon. Um, set up shop down there in Kentucky, and the legend has persisted ever since. So um, the first beer in this series was their Rumkin, which is like a 16.5% uh, pumpkin beer aged in rum barrels, which is fantastic. So really looking forward to this. I love big Avery beers. I think they do awesome hoppy beers. They do awesome multi beers. So when I heard they were doing a 17.5% Imperial Stout, I had to get it. So with that said, without further ado, let me get this one to a glass so that you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give you the verdict on the Avery Uncle Jacob's Stout. All right, guys, so the appearance on the Uncle Jacob's Imperial Stout, it poured one of the darkest beers I've ever seen. I mean, it literally, I say it all the time, but literally like old motor oil, it poured a lot like Hunapu, just that dark, single running Imperial Stout, black as night. It's not even brown, it's black. You can't see anything through it. There's a dark kind of cocoa, caramel, burnt sugar, verging almost like a red type of head. Um, not even a half a finger's worth, dissipating really quickly at almost 18%. I would expect that. Barrel aging, I would expect that. Decent amount of head lacing on there. Tons of alcohol legs. The alcohol legs are just dripping down the glass in this one at 18%. Again, I would expect that. Decent amount of carbonation though, believe it or not, coming between the beer and the actual head itself. So just an epic, epic looking Imperial Stout. All right, guys, so the aroma on the Uncle Jacob's. Whoa, massive, massive brown sugar, burnt sugar, caramel. Uh, there's a big kind of dark, kind of plummy, raisiny fruit in there. It actually smells a lot like the brewery's Black Tuesday. I'm getting massive bourbon notes, vanilla, caramel. There's a big oakiness in there. Just a, a huge amount of like sugar drenched raisins, big dark fruits verging on like a quad. I'm getting roasted notes, dark chocolate, a little bit of coffee. Big boozy notes blending with those dark fruits. Big, big sweet kind of roasted caramel. Wow, it just smells like an absolutely amazingly big Imperial Stout. Whew. All right guys, so the taste on the Avery Uncle Jacob Stout. What do you say we get into it? Cheers. Wow, right at the front of the tongue. Massive, massive sweetness. It's a big syrupy, dark chocolate co uh, coffee, espresso, uh, coffee beans, raisins. There's a bitterness in there from like the darkest chocolate you can imagine. And that's only at the front of the tongue, middle of the mouth. I mean, this thing just freaking coats your mouth in this big viscous, sweet, sugary, syrupy kind of sweetness. And then the, the bourbon barrel actually comes through. I'm um, getting that vanilla, that oakiness. Um, the alcohol really helps to cut some of that sweetness. I'm getting more of the kind of the bitterness, the astringency from like a coffee or a roasted malt in there. And believe it or not, for 18%, it's actually dangerously drinkable. It reminds me a lot of the brewery's Black Tuesday. It's a really, really well-crafted, believe it or not, well-balanced Imperial Stout. It's really awesome stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Avery Uncle Jacob's Imperial Stout, 17.45%. Available now, very, very limited quantities. Guys, I am going to give this one an A. Believe it or not, I was expecting this one to be a big kind of fusely mess at 17.5%, but you don't get that at all. What you get is an extremely well-balanced Imperial Stout that's highlighted by dark fruits, bourbon characters, coffee, chocolate, and it's actually a very, very nice drinking beer. There's not a whole lot of burn to it from the alcohol. It's got a nice sweet finish on it. Kind of entices the next taste. So I would say excellent, excellent, excellent beer. Definitely go, definitely go get yourself a bottle if you are able to get this stuff. It is very limited, a little bit pricey, but definitely worth the price. So with that said, folks, remember life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.